Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today is going to be another set inspired by the Frontline Workers and this is going to be for the 999 um, services. So it's going to be um, ambulance, police and fire. So this first one I'm going to be doing for the ambulance. I only show you this now because it is quite a long process and I do exactly the same on the other two nails just in different colours. So, on all of them I am going to be using banana, which I'm using here, and I'm just doing like a little square. Now, I know a lot of people use craft knives to do this, and filing, I'm not going to bother, because it's on my practice hand, and I think it, if you spend a lot of time with your brush, it turns out just as well. You know, it's by no means perfect, but, <clears throat> you know, um, I've just done done it all with my brush, Um putting the squares on like this so I just keep nudging it around until I get the nice square shape that I want and like I said that is banana and then I'm using smashed emeralds the green one um, to do the second square below that and the way I've done it I mean this is my first attempt I've never ever tried this before so this is my first ever attempt so the way I do it, or the way I've done it, is I've just put my first square sort of in the centre of the nail. And then I shall work my way down into a line, alter alternating the colours. So here I'm using the emeralds. I've used a bit of crystal glass on top of that to encapsulate it. And then I'll work my way down with another yellow. As you can see, that's crystal glass. And I want, I'm want i just going down the centre of the nail tip as if I was doing like a, um, a glitter slice or something like that, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, the next colour I'm going to put on is that banana again. And then I do come back and put another square green of that top yellow because I felt like it was too low down on the tip and I wanted it to go up further so once I've done this stripe in these colours I do allow it all to set and then what I do is I file both sides of this stripe to get it nice and crisp and then I start on the side so on the sides. So like I said, I've just filed down the centre to get the centre piece nice and straight. So I'm just wiping off all the dust there with my dusty brush and some monomer on my brush. And then I'm doing exactly the same down this side. But obviously using the alternate 
colours. So I'm trying to work as thin as I can because I will be coming in with something else on the cuticle area. But I sort of work down this side, just doing exactly the same as what I did in the centre and then move over to the other side. So I'm just going to let you watch. And like I said, I, I only show you this nail because the middle nail and the and the pointer finger are exactly the same. The only difference is, is um, this one was for the ambulance, so I used the yellow and green. The middle finger was for the police, so I used yellow and blue. And the pointer finger was for the fire, so I used yellow and red. And I took these colours off what you see on the vehicles rather than the uniforms. It's off the vehicles. So I just googled, you know, ambulance, fire, fire truck and police. And these were the colours that were on their vehicles. So that's what I've used to do this set. So I'm just going to let you watch and then I'll come back later when I need to. So now I've finished all the tip as I want it, I do take that, once it's dried, I do take that tip and file it to get it all nice and smooth on the top and so it's not lumpy and bumpy. 
Um, and then I use some Bear to Dare. No, sorry. Bear. Dare to Bear. Sorry, Dare to Bear. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just putting it on and just creating like an ombre. So I'm just putting it on at the cuticle at that join line. I don't like any other ombre. I put it on at that line, blend it over, and then the cuticle and blend it down. Just the front bit of the bead so I don't go all the way down to the tip. I'm just blending that first little bit and because I filed all this the tip before I put this on I got it as thin as I possibly could without um, cutting into that glitter that I put on and that's why I was working really thin in the beginning so I just get that nice ombre look with this and then I use a bit of crystal glass just to encapsulate it so when I file later I don't file away in my blend And I've done exactly the same process on the middle finger and the pointer finger as well. So I was thinking shall I just do three nails today and then I decided to do a fourth and I didn't really know what to do to go with this set to be honest so what all I did was just put um some smashed diamonds on the tip and then I blended down bare to dare over the top so I created the same sort of ombre as I did on the other sets just to blend it all in <clears throat> and then using gel polishes I created um, a little rainbow and what I, what I would have done if I'd have been doing a thumb is I would have done exactly the same and then I'd have made the rainbow come down the other side if you know what I meant so but yeah I was really struggling with something to do on this finger so I decided to do this in the end Um I have let that glitter set before I came in with this colour trying to keep it off the tip and building it up at the cuticle area and then I just come in with a little bit more of those smashed diamonds just so I didn't lose all the glitter on that tip and then what you'll see me doing then is doing the rainbow using gel polishes I don't keep in the whole rainbow I think you see me do the first bit and the last bit because I didn't want it to get too boring and repetitive <clears throat> so you only I sort of skip through it a little bit and then at the end I've just left a little clip and some pictures for you to look at so here I'm just encapsulating that finger with some crystal glass And just building it up <clears throat> building it up for the structure so how are all you guys doing um are you still at home um you know are you still working obviously not as nail techs but if you do any other jobs or your partners working um yeah let me know in the comments how you all getting on so these are the other two nails so as you can see it's red and yellow blue and yellow and green and yellow and because they've all got the yellow in I thought they tied together nicely um, and then I'll start on that rainbow on the little finger and what I do is I just pour oh sorry I'm going to top coat first top coat them all first and cure them in my lamp for the full 60 seconds and then I do the rainbow um, so I hope you've enjoyed this guys I'm going to get off now because there's not much else to um comment on so hope you've enjoyed it i really really liked this set um i'm really proud of this set this is the first time i've ever done this checkered effect ever this is my very first attempt at it and i'm really pleased with the way it turned out um i think you know they weren't too bulky either they were a bit thicker than what i'd normally do but they didn't turn out overly bulky so i'm i'm still quite happy with that and I really like the way 
of ombre down on the top i've not seen that done before i'm sure somebody's done it i'm sure you know somebody's done this in the past and done it a lot better than i've done it but um for me it was the first time doing this and i really like the effect of the ombre over it so i'm really really pleased with this set and you know i'm not going to get rid of this set i'm going to keep this set because i absolutely love them so anyway guys i'm just going to let you watch because i'm waffling a bit here i've um left a clip at the end like i said and some pictures i hope you're all well hope you're all keeping safe um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up feel free to share it if you haven't subscribed to my channel already i would love it if you would um i noticed i've got a few more subscribers since the last time i looked so hello welcome to my channel Hope you're all well and safe and um, I will look forward to speaking to you in the next one. So for now, bye bye.